home thinking one way, having one meaning, and then going back to it and reading it and finding another meaning. Yeah, that's awesome. And like I especially experience that with other poems from other other authors I've read. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll read yeah. it and then a year later I'll be like, oh my gosh, it's totally different this time. Mm -hmm. um, but but yeah, I mean, it sounds like you're you're doing a lot of writing already, which is awesome. I, I try, but it's. It's hard. Hard. That's the struggle. Welcome yeah. to the world of being a writer. Another thing that's helped me yeah. is having a class, actually, because then you oh, have yeah. some kind of structure and you're that's like true. beholden. Or, and you can actually, get feedback. This you could do without, like, you could have control. It's create a writing group. Because that also, like, I'm in a screenwriting group because mm -hmm. I write screenplays too, which is like most of them, what we're talking about. I'm thinking about all those things that I've written, like the millions yeah. of things that I've written. And then, um, like, most of the things that actually end up going out are like, it's kind of like a mental decision. I'm going to do this one. Yeah. And then you keep working on it because it's a lot of rewriting. So it's just that the choice. I'm going to write this. But a writing group is really good because then you're actually putting it out to somebody else. And then you get feedback and you sort of, if you meet every week or every other week, you feel like, okay, I'm gonna create some output for that group so that we have something to do, to read or something. And then often you get inspired by hearing other people too. Yeah. That's, that's helped me. But yeah, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Doing a group or a class is a great idea. And when you write, do you ever do like, for example, character development, like you'll develop a character, develop a scene separate, and then kind of build off from maybe even a scene in the middle that you just thought of all of a sudden or a character that you thought would be interesting? Personally, I, out, but this is again a screenwriting thing and I did it, well not when I, so my book that I wrote, I wrote 10 years ago in a class. I started it. So I wrote part of it. A good example. And then I said, I'm not going to be a writer. I'm not going to, why am I writing a book? I'm like, <laughs> because now the screenplay thing is happening. And then, like ten years later, I'm like, this group, I, what if I never sell something? I'm gonna write a book. So then I went back to that book, and I used. I've written like twelve chapters. I thought I only wrote one. I forgot. And then I used a lot of it, but not. And then I continued it. But because I have training in screenwriting, um, which is funny because of that Save the Cat post by Leah. Um, like, because I use Save the Cat. Like, so I like think really structurally. So. What I do, well, I, it always starts with the character. Like, I feel like, but I don't know that I think about it as much as I feel what it, who that character is. Mm -hmm. And then, but then I outline the story and where it's going. So, but then people appear. So, yeah. Like, I think people appear as you write. And yeah. then just, but there's different theories about that, too. Like, yeah, you write answers and what a walk-on. Yeah, that's what I call yeah. them. Yeah, like, oh, like, I think <laughs> one of the things that helps is identifying what kind of writer you are. Yeah, I'm, I'm a pantser. What's that mean? And that means that I write by the seat of my pants. I don't outline. Yeah, I get an idea. It appears like a movie in my head, and I I type, independent of anything right. going on around me. My fingers just fly across the keyboard. Um, one of my books I wrote in one night, and I went back and read it the next day and could not believe it came out of me. Like, I had no idea where it came from. Um, so it helps if you if you do better knowing your strengths. Do you do better with outlining, or do you do better flying by the seat of your pants, you know? Mm -hmm. um, at the same time, it's a really great exercise to do the opposite. Um, I had to write to an anthology, so suddenly I had to know what I was writing about. Oh, yeah. Um, so I actually kind of out, outlined the story yeah. before I started. Yeah. So it's a good exercise to do what you're not good at, too. Um, but identifying your strengths as a writer, I think, really yeah. helps you get started and know where to start from. And I'd also say, like, especially this early on in your writing career, to follow the impulses. So if you're like, oh, I'm working on this, and then you're like, oh, but I really have this idea for this other character or this other idea and I want to do that but oh no I'm working on this so just go with your impulse I would say like take it as far as you can take it because sometimes like this has happened with writing or with art like I'll be like oh I'm really inspired but like no I'm not working on that right now and I'll kind of shove it down and I've done that over and over and over and what it does is it just like smothers your creativity and it takes a while to get it back when you keep telling yourself like no my creative ideas my impulses are not 
what I'm doing right now. So I'd say to follow, like, follow those.